Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. I know, I don't usually start my videos out this way, but I thought for this one, I'm gonna do something a little different. So we're gonna do a bow video. I put one out last year, so in the description box below, you will find that link. Make sure to watch it if you haven't, because there are different techniques in that video. So let's talk about what we're gonna do for this video. The first one, is the no twist bow. And I know you might think, oh, I know how to do that. Well, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to do this. And if you have zero bow experience, if you say, Julie, I can't learn how to make a bow to save my life, you will be able to make this bow, I promise. The next bow is gonna be our bouquet. This is such a simple bow. This is very trending on TikTok right now. I've seen so many makers make this bow and I thought, I'm just gonna give you guys my take on it and I'm gonna call it the bouquet bow simply because the way that you hold it when you put it together. So again, super easy, doesn't take a lot of skill. And we're gonna take a little bit of a cheat sheet from the bouquet and we're gonna make this bow. I know that's just some, such a simple bow and I usually teach you how to twist it and put it together, but I take two pieces of ribbon and anybody can make this. You don't need any expertise whatsoever. You can make this perfect little bow for wreaths, for gifts, for anything, for all your decorating needs. And then we have the bow bundles. And so basically I'm gonna show you how to do this or even this to put on your Christmas tree or a gift. I think that's super, super cute. Use any kind of ribbon that has wire in it. And I'm gonna show you how you could either use this on a wreath or make it these really cute little bows. So that is the bundle bow. And then I'm gonna get out my Probo the hand and I'm gonna show you how you can make this really pretty bow. I think it's just absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you. If you've, you, if you've been in the market for a bow maker, this is the bow maker to buy and I will show you how to make this with the Probo. And then last but not least, we're going to get that Pro Bow out and we're gonna make a Terry Bow. And I've made several of these bows. I will show you them in the video but I think these are just beautiful and it's a wonderful bow to use six different ribbons and to really jazz up anything that you're making this fall, this Christmas for anything that you need a bow for. So stay around, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's learn how to make a bow the easy way. This is gonna be like the no twist bow. This is gonna be so simple that as long as you have a glue gun and you have a pair of scissors and you have um, a pipe cleaner and some zip ties, you can make this bow, okay? So this is the bow that if you say, Julie, there is simply no way I can make a bow. This is what you're gonna try first, okay? So first thing is first is I'm gonna cut three of these at 18 inches long. So just cut three of them. I love these scissors. I get them at um, Amazon. I know that they have a name to them and I can't think of a name right now, but that's okay. I don't need to think of a name. I'll have it linked below for you guys in the description box. This beautiful ribbon came from Mel's Crafty Mojo. And um, I just thought it's beautiful for spring and summer. And we've got some yellow and some green. This is one and a half inch. This is two and a half inch. And the quality is just phenomenal, guys. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these three, you're gonna grab your glue gun. I'm gonna put it over here. This is my Sure Bonder. It's been through um, many of a craft projects. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna take this ribbon and I'm gonna go and I'm going to glue it right there. It's about, it's so it's overlaying about a half an inch. So we're gonna just let that sit. I'm gonna do another one. Again, this is for the person who has no clue that you feel like there's absolutely no way that you can make a bow. I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy one right now. So just keep doing that. And that's what I like about the um, cordless, again, in my Amazon shop, and that link is in the description box below. So let that cool. And then I'm gonna cut out some of this yellow ribbon. So for the yellow ribbon, I wanna cut this at 14 inches long, okay? And I will try to put that on the screen. So 
so that you guys will know. Okay, so 14 inches, about, yeah, 14 inches. I'm gonna cut out, let's do two of these. And we're gonna do the same thing we did for here. You might wanna hold that there, okay. We are going to just absolutely make sure you get the right size. So you can see a little bit of the wire. So we don't want the wire to show. So let's just glue these two. Okay. And be careful. It is hot glue, guys. I don't want you to burn yourself. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. And all right. So now we have five loops. And then I want to take one of the green ones and I'm going to do another 14 inch. All right, so make sure you have your tail ready. So I'm going to cut out about, oh, 14 inches for the tail of this bigger ribbon here. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. And there's no twisting here, but there is some gathering. Okay, so we're just going to lay it flat. All right. And if you want, you could even add a touch of glue. I didn't the first time. You don't have to do this step. But if you find it easier, go right ahead, okay? So you're just going to take them. Make sure that your glue side is going to be facing down. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm just going to um, grab that one. And I'm going to do this one again to that one. And we're just going to kind of place it on top of each other. There's a, an X. And then we're going to fill the other spot. Okay. All right. We're going to put it right here. And we're just going to hold that. I'm going to take a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to go over top of that. And as you can see, I'm having a little bit of an issue, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix this. And we're just going to pull that. All right, so you're going to just kind of, again, we didn't have to twist anything. We're just going to do that, okay? So you're going to cut that zip tie. Let me make it a little bit tighter there. All right, so I'm gonna lay this to the side. I know it's flat, we're not gonna keep it flat, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're gonna take the green and I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna take a yellow and I'm gonna cross, lay it across of it, across of it, is that, is that? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're gonna lay it on top of that one, okay? So you got the green, cross yellow, cross, cross yellow. So you could have this all the same color. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay it on top of what we already just did. I'm going to grab another zip tie, but we're not going to tighten this all the way. Okay. I'm going to put it over top. I'm going to just start it here, but I'm not going to tighten it guys. All right. We're not going to tighten it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it. This is the bottom side. And I'm gonna take that little tail, that extra piece I told you to cut off. Now, if you wanted to add some yellow, you could do that. Um, some of the green, you could do that too. It's really up to you, okay? If you want more tails. So I'm gonna just pull that really good. I'm gonna cut it. Now we're gonna flip it over. Yes, it looks pretty flat, but this is where you're gonna start fluffing it all up. So we're going to do the yellow first. I'm going to come up. Just take your two fingers and just kind of go there. Okay. I'm going to pull this across. Pull those yellows so that the green can come up. And now I'm going to just start fluffing up the daisy ribbon. I think this would be so cute on a wreath. If you're a sign maker, I think I need to pull this a little bit more, this back bow here, because it was a little longer on that side. We don't want it to be too long on one side. 
So you're just gonna take your fingers and you're gonna just fluff up your bow, right? And this happened the last time. One was shorter than the other. I'm not sure why that was, <laughs> but I just like to fold it over and I'm gonna give it a nice dovetail, okay? And you just fold it over and then you cut it at an angle. All right, let's fold this one over. So this is the, the bow for those that are just, you know, they're just a little iffy about, you know, making a bow, a little nervous. You don't know how to twist and hold and all of that good stuff. So this would be the no twist bow. Now you're going to have to pinch it. That's okay. So at this point, what, how are you going to attach it? So you're going to take a pipe cleaner and I'm just going to go over that little zip tie there. Okay. And I'm going to just twist it in the back. So now I can do that, or I could even take a wire and attach it that way. But that is the no twist bow. It's a little easy to do. It's gluing all your different pieces together. These were three 18 inch pieces, three 14 inch pieces. Um, if you wanted to, you could just keep it, oh, um, two 14 inch pieces if you wanted to keep it all the 2.5 inch, but you can get this at Mel's Crafty Mojo, this ribbon, and it's super, super cute. And um, if you use my code Julie's Wreath Boutique, all one word, capital letters, you'll get an extra 10% off of $35 or more, okay? So make sure you go check out Mel's, and I think that's super cute. You could put a little flower or something like right in the middle of that. That would be cute to add a little bit extra. You could also, if you wanted to, take a piece of scrap, um, ribbon and just go around it and you could just do that. So let me show you how to do that really quick. So let's just take a piece of our ribbon here and I'm going to use this just simply because I just, I like the white and the yellow, but I'm going to cut off this edge here because it, it is quite bulky. So this will get rid of some of the bulk. So if you, if you don't want to do this, don't do that. Okay, I'm just going to bend it over here and then I'm just going to go over that white pipe cleaner. I think it kind of finishes it off really nicely. You're just going to take your one pipe cleaner one way, the other the other way, and then I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist it right there. Okay, that's all the twisting you're doing is with your pipe cleaner. All right, and then... You can just kind of pull it this way and then you can, you could do one of two things. You could just glue that down if you're afraid that that's going to show. So let's just do that. Glue it down because nobody's going to see that. Who cares, right? So you can just glue that down or you can just simply cut it. So on this side, you could just cut it down a little bit. All right. So there's your no twist bow. I think it's super cute. What do you think? All right, so let's make a Christmas bow, but really it's an any time of the year bow, but we're gonna use Christmas ribbon that we got from Trendy Tree. Now this is amazing ribbon. It's so pretty. This is kind of like an elf theme going on, so you could do any of that. I will have the links, I will do my best to find the links to each ribbon and have it in the description box below. But um, you can check out Trendy Tree for this. We have one and a half inch and then two different two and a half inch ribbons. So what we're gonna do here, I have been seeing this bow all over TikTok and I don't even know if there's really a name for it. So what I'm just gonna call it is the gathered bow. Um, really because there's no twisting, you're just gonna kind of gather it in your hand like a bouquet of flowers in a way and make a bow. This is super simple, super easy. And my friend Michelle of A Noble Touch, um, I believe did a similar bow in a video recently for breast cancer awareness. So um, you're gonna just take your ribbon and cut them at 20 inches each. I cut three. If you wanted to do four ribbons for four loops, it's really, you can't go wrong. Again, this is like a bouquet of loops. That's all this is. It's so, so easy. So you're gonna take your first one and here is the key to this. I want to make sure I have about an 11 inch loop. So I'm going to go down to the 12 inch, okay, part. 
but I'm going to kind of gather it up here. And the reason why I'm going to do that is when I go to like fluff up my, my loops, I want there to be enough tail in the looped bow. Okay. So you're going to take, this is where we're going to start gathering it, put it in your thumb. Okay. And hold it there. Take the next one. And you're going to, again, you're going to go over to about the 12 inch mark. You're going to bend it over, but we're going to gather it above there about a good inch so that it doesn't come out of our loop. Okay. So there's the next one. I've been seeing this literally, I, I went on TikTok and I have seen it several times, but then I went to bow making tutorial and everybody was making this bow. So I figured why not jump on the bandwagon and make one with them. So here we go. This is a little bit smaller. I'm going to just add it to my bouquet. So let's just call it the bouquet bow. Okay. Cause that's what I feel like is going on. So just keep doing the same process here and just, you're just gathering them kind of, if you want, you can just kind of fold them over and then put them together. I don't know if you just heard my elephant, i.e. my little boy. He's usually the culprit, <laughs> but that's okay. Real life here, guys, real life. I will have, if you're watching this bow video, I have other bow videos that I will leave in the description box below, make sure you check them out. I have a whole bunch of videos. So again, we're just gonna add it to our bouquet of ribbon. And I don't really have a method of like where I'm laying it. I just am just trying to lay it in a way that it looks pleasing to me, okay? I've also seen people make even longer loops and just go and just fold it in half and add it that way, and you could do that as well. You're gonna take at least an eight inch zip tie, and I'm gonna go over my hand here where I have it together, because I wanna make sure nothing comes out, okay? And I'm going to zip tie it, and I'm gonna pull it pretty tight, okay? As tight as I can get it, okay? I usually have wire cutters, but, um, don't know where they are right now. <laughs> and then you're just gonna go through your bow and just gonna play with it and have it really pretty. And then take your ends here. Like some of them are a little bit shorter than others, but that's okay. And you can dovetail it. You can just cut it at an angle. Let's just cut them at an angle here. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it really simple. I'm just gonna go like, both directions here and be careful don't cut your hand I was making a bow the other day and I cut my finger so don't do that okay and then you can add, add your bow to your wreath to this would be a really nice one for a package I think that would be really cute and you're just gonna move them around until they're laying the right way so again, there's not a lot of technique to this one. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. And it kind of reminds me of a bouquet. And that is your bouquet bow. And you can just have, oops, I didn't do this one. You can just kind of trim it up. If you want to do that, you can um, put little dovetails in that. If I was to attach this to a wreath, I would take simply, this is what I would do. I would take a piece of wire. I would just run it down through that zip tie and then attach my, my bow to whatever, you know, if it's a sign, if it's a, oh, a wreath, any of those things. But this is the bundle or the bouquet. This is the bouquet bow. That's what I wanted to say, the bouquet bow. All right, so do you need a bow? And you're like, Julie, I can't twist. I can't do none of that. I just need it so simple that I just cut two pieces of ribbon and stick them together. This is what you need. Okay. So this is a little bit of a take off of the, the bouquet bow that we just did. Um, I kind of thought, man, you could make this really simple bow by just cutting two pieces of ribbon together and sticking them together, okay? So I want you to take a six, two 16-inch pieces of ribbon that will make this size bow that we have right here. 
This ribbon came from Mel's Crafty Mojo, and um, this little corresponding ribbon came there as well, and I'm gonna add it to the middle. You don't have to get the second one, but I just think it's really cute. So two pieces, 16 inches apart here. And that's why I really love my um, mat here because it just, it does a lot of the work for me. And then I'm gonna grab a zip tie. Now you could use a zip tie, you could use pipe cleaners. You don't have to use this. For me, it's just easier because I have issues with my hands. And so I don't like to do a lot of twisting because it causes problems for me. So if you're like me, just get a pack of zip ties. I love these. Again, these are on my Amazon shop. I love these because they're very small. They're not very um, big and thick. So what are we going to do? We're going to keep using our mat here. And I'm, I, this is the 10 inch mark and this is the 26 inch. So 16 inches is what we're working with. So I'm going to bend it over here to the 21 inch. So basically you're going from 10 inch to the 11 inch mark or whatever. Okay. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to gather it just above there. Cause we don't want to, we don't want to gather it too close to here or your loops are going to come out. We're going to do the same exact thing that we just did hold it over, we're going to bend it over, and then you're just gonna gather it, okay? That's it, if you can do this, you can make this bow. So all you're gonna do is crisscross them like so, okay? I'm gonna take the zip tie, and I'm gonna go over. Now you don't have to use a zip tie, you could use a pipe cleaner, or even a piece of wire, whatever you wanna do. But you just wanna hold those two really close together, okay? And then you're going to keep pulling. See how I keep that together until I get it all the way down? There we go. All right. Take my cutters there. Okay. Boom. You have a bow. It's so simple. And then you're just going to work with it and you're going to like poof up your little loops. And for me, I'm going to just dovetail them. That's This is what a dovetail is. Okay. So you'll hear me talk about that a lot in a bow video or Whenever I'm making a bow, you're just going to fold it over and you're going to cut a little um, mark at an angle and it makes a nice little V. So if you want to cover this up, number one, you could just take a pipe cleaner and you could go over that and then that's simple, super easy. Or for me, I'm just going to take this. You see me do this a lot. I'm just going to take a piece of this ribbon because I think it's just cute and really um, coordinates really well. I'm gonna cut off the wire part. And I'm also gonna use this as a way to add the um, pipe cleaner on the back. I'm just going to bend over here. Okay. You could add a little bit of glue there if you want. So I'm gonna go over the middle where that pipe cleaner was or that zip tie was. And now I'm gonna lay my pipe cleaner right there and if you want to add a little touch of glue go right ahead I, I don't think it's really that necessary so I'm going to take my holding that down and I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and now I'm going to twist it okay so now I have something to put this on a wreath on a package on a Christmas tree whatever you want to do I think these would be really cute to go around your Christmas tree I'm gonna just cut these off. Oops, don't wanna cut the wrong thing. <laughs> Turn it over, make your little bows, and there you've got the perfect little bow. I mean, you can't, guys, you can't go wrong with that. Just a perfect little bow. You might wanna like bend these over if you've got the little ones sticking out, but if you struggle with making a bow, like I need to glue that down, so I'm gonna glue that down here. But if you struggle with making any type of a bow, this is the simple, easy two-step process, basically. Take two pieces of ribbon, put them together, boom, you're done. Okay, have you guys seen the trends this year? The trends is the animal prints. I don't know why, but it seems really hot. This year. So basically, you're going to start with about 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches, okay? So 10 inches, we're going to measure that out, and I'm going to gather, okay? So I'm going to keep my finger here. You've seen me do this before. 
if you've been watching or in, and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to hit that subscribe button all right so we're going to take another 10 inches and we're going to gather and we're going to bring it together okay boom that's the first thing i'm going to grab it with i'm going to pinch it with these two fingers now i'm going to measure another 10 inches from this point to this point so and then i'm going to gather it right here Okay, and then I'm gonna come back behind here and I'm going to grab it, okay? Now we're gonna cut our length off another 10 inches. If you want, because I know that I probably won't use all of that, I might cut it down a little bit, but if you keep the concept 10, 10, and 10, it just kind of helps with remembering what to do. So I'm gonna, all right, so I'm gonna take this and you can do a few things. Because this has this beautiful design, we want that to stay up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to twist this this way so that it's staying up. So I really kind of want one ribbon going that way and one ribbon coming this way to kind of explain the bundle for if you wanna put it on a wreath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a zip tie. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to. You could take a pipe cleaner or whatnot. You don't have to do this one. But for me, because of my hands, I'm just gonna do this and I'm going to just hold it there. Now last year's video I did something similar and I call it the zip tie bow and um, you will it's like layering these and using zip ties it's great. So I'm going to lay that to the side now we're going to take the leopard print here and instead of 10 inches I'm going to work on eight inches okay. So if you hear the footsteps that's my babies upstairs so we're going to just work on eight inches and I'm going to gather I'm going to gather another eight inches and I'm going to come to the middle. All right, because this is one sided, we're going to twist and we're going to get another 10 inches or no, eight inches. Sorry, not eight in inches or not 10 inches, eight inches. Okay, so now I'm going to measure that off and I'm going to cut the bow or cut the bow. That's it. All right, so now I'm going to take this and I kind of want one to go one way and one to go the other way. So let's, we're gonna put it over top here. And this is where maybe using a pipe cleaner might be a little bit easier. But again, I'm just gonna take a, a zip tie. And before you come after me in the comments, I know somebody will be saying, that's really wasteful. <laughs> I, I understand and I get the point, I really do. But for my hands and to be able to keep bringing videos to you, I have to do it a certain way. So you don't have to do it this way. So I'm gonna just take these off. And really at this point, you could take one of those zip ties off. It's really kind of up to you. You're not gonna see it. All right, so there's one, one set. And honestly, you could cut these ribbons even a little shorter. Boom, you have a really cute little bow. You can put it in your wreath, in your whatever you're making, a curl wreath or a, a mesh wreath. Um, I have lots of videos on different styles of wreaths and you could put that cut an edge there and it'd be really cute, but we're gonna go one step further. We're gonna take this really pretty kind of sheer gold, and this is really a preference thing if you wanna do two loops or you wanna do four loops. I'm gonna show you how to do four loops. So I'm gonna do about eight inches. I already cut that, so I'm just gonna cut about eight inches. And we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. So this one was a 10 inch measure. This one was an eight inch measure. We're gonna do this at seven inches, okay? Because if I go down to six, it makes a really, really tiny loop. So I, I don't quite want that. So I'm gonna take a seven inches and I'm gonna to come together, I'm gonna to measure seven inches again, and we're gonna to come together, okay? All right, you could stop at that, but we're gonna add two more. Come, oops, together here. All right, and then you're just gonna cut your edge. So at this point, I'm gonna put this over top here and I'm gonna get a piece of wire out, okay? I'm gonna hold it here and I'm gonna grab a piece of wire. Okay, so I'm gonna use a 26 gauge piece of wire and I'm just gonna go over top, all right? Gonna hold it together and now I'm going to twist it in the back. 
and if you want at this point you can cut off those zip ties um, if you have a chip clip that you could use that would hold it you could do that too so okay so at this point let's cut our little um, tails here so I don't want them quite that big so you could even start your when you start out the length for your tail you could start it off much shorter maybe instead of 10 inches you could start it off at 8 inches so I'm just gonna cut and I'm gonna cut it and give it a dovetail okay all right so if you're putting this in a wreath and I would probably even cut this even more but there you go. You've got a really pretty, um, just kind of whimsical bow bundle that you can put in the middle of something and it would really make your wreath pop. But if let's say we don't want to put it on a wreath, we want to put it on a package or put it, make, make it look a little bit straighter. I'm just going to bring all of my tails down here below. We'll start with the red and then we'll come back here and we'll find the cheetah prints or the leopard, whatever you want to call it. All right, and I'm just gonna bring it all down and boom, you have a regular bow too. So you could do a bow bundle, you could do this, but what can we do to add a little bit more pizzazz if I say I wanted to put it on a Christmas tree? You can get some of these like Dollar Tree ornaments. You could take a bundle of three, you could do one, and number one, you could either glue them together in there like so, okay, you could do that, which I think would be really, really cute. Or you could just do one if that's what you wanted, or maybe you have some other little ornament you wanna add. But if you want to use the wire, so let's just look at the back here, let's see. So we're gonna bring it up around here to the front. And I would just take one, two, And then I'm gonna put one on the other side here. All right, oops. You might wanna glue that in too. <laughs> they kinda of like to come across. And then I'm just going to cross my little wires and I'm gonna take it to the back and I'm gonna pull and then just twist once, twice. And then you've got a cute You've now made a beautiful little ribbon or bow. Let's just kind of twist this, there we go. Um, you've made a beautiful little bow to add on to your Christmas tree, like little spots of bows and like accents, whatever colors you're gonna wanna use. But I think that is super duper cute. So you've got three options. Maybe you just wanna do a bundle for, um, I made one kind of similar over here too, I can show you. Um, maybe you wanna just make a bow bundle for wreaths and have the, the these going each way. Maybe you want to add a little bit of this and do what I did and the other wreaths or the other bows where I show you how to just add that. You could do that or maybe even just add some few little ornaments and I think either way is super cute. All this ribbon came from Trendy Tree. The links will be in the description box below. So this is the bundle bow. Okay, so I've, I've showed you how to make bows by hand. Um, in last year's video, I show you bows how to make by hand, but I also wanna show you, if you wanna get a bow maker, how to use a bow maker. Now, in my opinion, um, this is Pro Bow the Hand, and I have them in my Amazon um, shop that's in the description box below. And this to me is the best bow maker on the market. You can disagree with me, that's okay. But, but for me and for what I do, I feel like this is the best. It gives you the most versatility. If you're going to spend the money on a bow maker, this is what I would recommend. And I wholeheartedly recommend this product. Um, this gives you more, um, I know there's a lot of different bow makers and they don't have these little um, spools sticking up and you kind of have to measure. But what I like about this bow maker is it takes the precise measurement out of the equation and does it for you. So my friend Regina, who is the person who um, invented Probo the Hand, she helped me with um, some ribbon tutorials. So she basically showed me how to do it. We worked on it together. She showed me how to do this one. And we are gonna use this just two and a half inch wired ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Now, 
Um, if you can find something similar to it, you can do that. But I really like the look of this um, particular bow just simply because it's very neutral. And you can use this for Christmas. You could use it for any time of the year. And it's, this is going to make a very good size bow for you. And I want to show you how making a big, beautiful bow doesn't have to be hard. It can be very, very easy. So we've got our Pro Bow, the, the hand board here, and then we have like these little things that hold the ribbon for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our ribbon right here. Now I always make sure that, and let me see if you can see this, that the ribbon is coming from the right side. It's just easier when you're pulling it and doing the bow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to give this bow some dovetails, okay? So I'm gonna fold it in half here, like I've showed you before, and we're just gonna give it a nice dovetail, okay? So we're gonna have this as one of our first links, um, and it's gonna be reaching out. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna take my um, bow here and I just wanna kind of fold it. I don't want to, um, Oh, I don't want to like scrunch it up, but I want this fold look. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to take a 26 gauge wire. Oops. I just have it right here. Okay. And we're going to take it and we're going to wrap it. I put it underneath of the ribbon like so, and I'm going to take the, the top and I'm going to wrap it twice, once, twice. Okay. Now, I want this to be shown, so I'm going to actually put it um, facing my dowel here, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my wires are on this side, all right? And I'm going to go through, there's a little slit right here. On the newer probos, you're gonna go down, and this is gonna help keep your um, ribbon and everything stay in place a little bit, and then you're just gonna wire it around your spool here. That's all there is to it. You're gonna take your bottom and you're going to go around the little nail head that's right down here. I don't know if you can see it once and then I just stick it underneath. That's all there is to it, okay? So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right in between our two um, center dowels here. So what we're working on is row C and we put five pegs in our board here. So I left the center one out, and so we did one, one, two, three, four, five on each side, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull this to the side, and I'm going to just simply take my finger and I'm going to put it over the first loop. That's how simple it is. Now when we come back to here, we are going to gather it, and then we're going to twist it, okay? And we're gonna keep it um, the right side, because if you look at this ribbon, you can see the wire underneath versus the wires not showing on this side. So depending on the ribbon that you're using, we're gonna twist that, okay? So now I'm gonna take this, I'm going to kind of push my thumb, kind of shape the ribbon there. So then I'm going to go over the next one. I don't even have to hold that, okay? So I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to gather it and then I'm gonna twist it. All right, I'm going to use my thumb and then put it over the next loop here, okay? I'm gonna come back. I don't have to hold this. And for somebody who has hand issues, this is a really good thing for me personally um, because I do have carpal tunnel syndrome. So I'm just gonna come across here. I'm gonna kinda like, you kind of like measure it and then come over here and just gather it and then twist it. And I always kind of bottoms up is what she says, Regina says when she does a video. So um, what I want you to do is I want you to check out Regina's Probo the Hand YouTube channel and she will take you through each bow that she has ever made on YouTube much slower. So she's really, she's the master to learn from. So we're going to kind of go through here. We're going to twist again. That's all we're doing guys. Very easy. Okay, and I'm gonna twist here. And I like to kind of use my thumb and kind of get that going and then use that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we need to create another tail. 
All right, so I'm going to gather that and I'm gonna twist it, okay? And I'm going to put it there. But at this point, we're gonna get what she calls the helping hand wire. So we're gonna grab one of these 26 gauge wires. So I'm not even sure if you can see it, but take your 26 gauge wire and you're gonna go down through the center, but we're gonna make sure we come through the right side of our center dowel, our, our, the one that, that holds everything together. So I'm gonna take one and I'm going to use this now and I'm gonna kind of push this all up a little bit and I'm just going to twist it once and maybe just one more, just one little twist, okay? And then I'm gonna just kind of go like so. I kind of like to, personally, I like to put the helping hand wire up that way to kind of get it out of my way. So basically what I want to do is I want to measure about to where C is. I want to put a dovetail here, okay? So that's going to create one tail coming out of our bow when we're done. So now I got to make another dovetail because now it's, of course, doesn't look the right way. So you can do one of two ways. You can start on this end or start on that end, but it really truly doesn't matter. So um, let's just go ahead and we'll start on this end and I'm going to just kind of see where I want it to end and I want it to kind of be there. So I'm gonna just gather it and I'm gonna take that helping hand wire and I'm going to keep it all straight and I'm just gonna twist it one good twist there. And don't twist too hard because you don't want your your wire to break, okay? So that's really, really important, okay? All right, so I need another tail at the other end here. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna kind of measure it, see how long I want it. I'm going to just cut it over. So that way we've got two tails on this side and two tails on that side, okay? So at this point, we're going to finish our bow, okay? So we have two more loops to put. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little, you know, I'm going to gather it. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm see how I'm keeping it all together. We're going to use that helping hand wire. We're just going to twist it once. I'm going to put that back over here. And now I'm going to kind of do that. And then I'm just going to go like that. Use my finger, come back, I'm gonna twist it. Bottoms up is what she says. Kind of get that through there. And this is a little bit, um, I'm just gonna tell you, this is a little bit bulkier of ribbon to use, but I think it really comes out very pretty. You're just gonna twist it and go through the next one. And at this point, you if you wanted to, you could do the little wires, but I don't feel like that's really necessary. And come back through here and we're gonna twist. So now what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna twist it here and then we're gonna add, and I'm gonna try to press this in as much as I can here. This is the helping wire. This is not our main wire, remember that, okay? So, all right. So now we need ribbon tails. So you're just gonna whatever, however long you want it. So I'm gonna go around once here. All right, it's about right. I'm gonna move the board up a little bit more for you to see. I'm gonna kind of grab it and do it again. Maybe actually just do it. I know um, Regina's probably watching this. No, Julie, don't do it that way. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Okay, so we, we've got two here and now I'm going to just kind of put it here and use that helping hand wire again. All right, so see how it's pretty straight. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna just cut this. Be careful not to cut your finger because the first time I made this, I cut my finger. Don't do what I did, okay? So we're gonna put that away. This is a big bow, guys, so just hold on to that thought. So you're gonna just kind of go here, and now I'm gonna just kind of like press it as, in as much as I can. I'm gonna take my wire up here, 
I'm gonna take it off, okay? And I'm gonna add the wire that was um, down here. I know you can't see it, but you had it wrapped around the little nail at the bottom. And we are just going to now twist. Don't twist too tightly. You don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to break your wire. So there we go. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna take it off. It just will come off just like Okay, that. so this is what she calls a fluff box. This is not mandatory in it. If you have one, great. If you don't have one, you can still fluff this out and it'd be just fine. This just makes the process a little easier. And so, then I'm gonna take the shorter one and I'm just gonna add some more wire to it. I'm just gonna wrap it around. So if you need a little bit extra, you know, you've got it. So what you have on this, you have a little hook and then you have a little nail. So what we're gonna do, okay, so you're just gonna take your wires and you're gonna go through that hook and then I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around here. See, the one is a little not too, too um, long. Okay, so basically all you're gonna do is you're just gonna start here. We're gonna start with, Gonna start with this and that's gonna be the downside here and then we're just gonna kind of pull our bows against each other like so Okay, to finish off this wreath, we're, I just took a long piece of ribbon here. Again, we're gonna get rid of these um, wire sides because it just kind of bulks up the ribbon and we just don't need that much. So all you're gonna do is gonna do the exact same thing that I showed you with other ones. We're going to bend it over here, okay? Take our bow and we're just gonna go around it like so. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take a little bit of glue, but I'm also going to kind of just kind of take my wires going one way and wires going the other way. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue and then just take your wires. Here, you can see my longer wire. Um, I probably should get like the, the wire around the thing and make it as long as I want, but I have the little stems here, but you can make these and you're just going to wrap that now. And then I like just to kind of pull it to the side here and we'll just trim those up. So there you go. It's a beautiful ribbon. Let me show you another one I did not in this, but a plaid. Okay, so this is the one I made with just regular two and a half inch ribbon. So you can actually see it's not quite as thick here as this one is, but this is just a bulkier um, when you're dealing with burlap, but that's kind of the difference. But hey, listen, it's a beautiful, beautiful bow, and I hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so the last bow we're gonna make is called the Terry Bow, and my friend Terry Lynn Marshall designed this bow years ago, and um, she has a YouTube channel here called, um, I believe it's called Mill and Dill Designs, and I will link her YouTube channel below. She makes beautiful wreaths, and she's the designer of this bow, and. So Regina helped me make it, and I've always been intimidated by this bow. I don't know why, but after she did a step-by-step -step instructional video or tutorial with me, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so simple. This is not that hard. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna use six different ribbons for this, guys. We're gonna use all this ribbon came from the reshop. And what I will do is, in, in the description box below, I'm gonna like link each of the ribbons for the, the places that, um, we're using today so like so I find that this emerald green color is very hot right now it seems like a very popular color for this time of year so we're going to use this so we're going to start out with um, this green and black check that's going to be our first ribbon so we're going to just put this right here and then we're going to use this black ribbon and I got this a long time ago. I'm hoping she still has it, um, but if not, you can pick up something like this at like Hobby Lobby or any of the other stores online. But this was something that I already had on, on hand, but I did get it from the reshop. And then we're gonna go with 
you got to decide which one. I think I'm going to go with this one next. I love this print. It's probably my favorite. And then we'll do, I believe, this Christmas tree, this plaid, and then we'll end out with this black. Okay, so we have our board here. We have our three spools of ribbon. So what I'll do is we'll use these three, and then I'll put the other three up here. So we're going to take our um, board here and we are going to actually move these little toggles up to row D and I actually since I have six ribbons we're going to need to add a six um, peg here and these fit really nicely in this is like the new and improved board and this is what you can get off of the Amazon um, and these just fit really nicely so we're going to go with row D here so let me grab a couple more of my pegs that are in the little um, bag here. And then you've got these little ones if you wanna make a, a smaller bow right here, you have smaller ones for that. So we need just one more here and one, oops, that's the big one, and one here. Okay, so we're ready to go. I'm going to take my wire here, just gonna lay it there and we're going to get started. And so the first thing we're going to do is we got to, we have to create an edge for this. So I want to do the dovetail again, you know how to do the dovetail. It's just fold your ribbon in half and then make a nice cut. Okay. So our first dovetail, we're going to kind of measure it to, to number C here. I'm going to kind of do this. All right. So that's what I want to do. I want to look at my ribbon to see what the best side is. I think it's this side and I'm just going to gather it here and I'm going to take my wire the 26 gauge wire and i'm going to wrap it around two times one two okay now because this is the best side of the of the ribbon i want it facing my little dowel here okay so we're going to face it right here all right i'm going to take my wire and i'm going to go down into the little opening here Okay, and then I'm just gonna wrap it and we're going to go to the left. Always make sure you wrap your wire to the left, okay? So there we go. And then I take this bottom and you're just going to, if you can see, I hope I can um, get down here. I'm just gonna wrap it and then I'm just gonna stick it underneath my board, okay? So here we are, we're, we're set, we're ready to go. Let me show you how easy the Terry bow is, okay? And if you go check out Terry's YouTube channel, tell her I sent you, okay? So you're gonna take your fingers here, okay? You got two fingers out here, and you're just going to take it and you go around the one. We're going to take our fingers here and we're going to gather, and then we're just gonna twist. And then we're gonna go over the next finger and come back. Okay, I'm going to gather it and I'm going to twist, okay? Cause we want that, the right side of the ribbon to be showing. Now, this is where we're gonna get that second wire out. We're gonna get our helping hand wire, just like I showed you in the previous one. We're gonna go underneath and we're gonna to go to the right of this little spool here. And we're gonna just come through and now we're going to just twist it once. That's all that needs to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to about here. I'm going to see, and I'm going to cut it in such a way. And if you have to, you know, shorten these when we're done, that's okay too. So we're going to just kind of put it up there. Okay. So that is our first color. So we're done with this ribbon. It's going to go away. All right. So now we're going to use the black and you could leave it on there, you don't have to do that. And you're gonna do the same thing. We're going to add a little cut there and let's see which is the best. I think that's the, the back of the ribbon. I'm going to go a little bit beyond the C. Here, I'm just kind of measuring from here to here. I'm going to gather it and I'm going to use my helping hand wire to place it in place here. All right, just one twist. And then I like to put my helping hand wire that way. Okay, it just helps me. All right, so basically, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here. 
you're going to, I kind of bring it out and I kind of squi squish it together. You're going to gather it together and you're going to twist, okay? And actually we don't need to do anything right there. Not yet. And then we're just going to go to this one and come back and we're going to gather and then we're going to pinch and then twist it up, okay? This is where I'm going to tie it off because we're going to add a new ribbon. All right, I'm going to measure it here between like the C and the D. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, now we're going to use our two and a half inch ribbon and this is like the prettiest ribbon. So the way that Regina described it to me is like, have the third ribbon in this terry bow be the one you love the most. And so since this is the one I love the most, I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna measure that to about D and I'm just going to gather it up here. Okay, remember this is the right side and it needs to go facing. This is the head of your bow. So we need to face the head, okay? So we're just going to use our little helping hand wire and we're gonna twist it, okay? And then we're gonna take our wire, or not our wire, our ribbon. We're gonna go around here, come down here. We're gonna kind of pinch it together and then we're going to twist it, bottoms up, okay? Make sure that little tail is up there. And I like to kind of use my thumb to kind of play with the ribbon. So that's all there is to it. So we're gonna come here and we're going to gather it and we're gonna twist it. And now we're gonna take the helping hand wire once again, and we're just gonna twist, that's it. You're gonna cut and now we're gonna keep doing the same exact thing for the other three. That's all there is to it. So here we're gonna start and we're gonna kind of get it out to the E. I'm going to add it and we're just gonna take our wire and we're gonna get it started right here. Okay. Now, you can do one of two things. If you want this to go the other direction, you can cut this and you can make your trees go the correct direction, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this like so. And now I'm going to make another tail so that when, but you know what? I don't want that to be the thing. So I'm gonna cut it right here because I don't mind wasting a little bit of ribbon to make sure that my tails are going the right direction. So when you have like a design, just simply cut it and I'm going to just bring it here. I'm gonna measure it and we're just gonna add it here. If you do not have like this type of ribbon, you don't have to do this this little thing. You could just keep going the way I was doing. But because I have the little trees, I wanted to try to make it look like it's going the right direction. So for here, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go around this here, all right? And I know if Regina's watching me and if she's cringing right now because I'm not doing this right, I'm sorry, Regina. So we're just trying to make sure that that tree goes the right direction, okay? So I'm just going to made a loop and I just put it on, all right? So look, see, it's not going the right direction. So I'm gonna cut this one off and we're just gonna turn it around, all right? So this is, this is like one that you could kind of like just do a different way. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm going through here, put that there, and we're just gonna go like so, okay? And we've already got our two two things, and I may have done this wrong, so, but the, you, I think you kind of get the gist. If you have a pattern in your ribbon, you're gonna cut them and just kind of add them so that the pattern, or oops, the wrong one. I just took the wrong one here. <laughs> wrong one, Julie. This is the wire you want. Um, you're just gonna take your helping hand wire and then this is where I'm gonna just kind of press it in a little bit more, kind of help that. All right, and there we go. So that when our 
bow is laying out, all the trees are gonna go the right direction. And I'll, I'll show you in a minute, okay? So, and now we're gonna go back to the, the same way because this isn't doesn't matter the direction wise. So we're gonna do about almost to F there. I'm gonna make a little gather here. I'm gonna just go and secure it with that helping hand. Okay, put it there. Go around and I'm going to gather and twist. All right. I'm running out of my helping hand. <laughs> it's getting short there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna cut this, and again, you can cut these at the end too. I'm going to cut it. And we're gonna kinda of go to the edge of the board. I'm going to figure out which side is best. I think it's this side. So it's heads up to the ribbon. I'm gonna do this. around once so you're doing the same concept over and over I just made it a little bit more difficult because I used a ribbon that had a design but now you know how to get that design the right way all right so we've got that so we're gonna just tie that off so that was the last ribbon. So you're just going to dovetail it. Okay. Now let's take our, our wire here. We're going to unwind it. Be very careful. And we're going to come down. All right. So at this point, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to just kind of push, use my thumb and I'm going to push it as much into this as I possibly can. I'm going to take my what bottom ribbon or my wire and we're just going to tie it off and that's it so now we're going to take it off and it should just come out if this is too tight on your you don't want them to be too tight on your um your dowels you want it just to kind of sit okay if it's too tight then you're, you're doing it wrong okay so we have the bow box we're just going to take our bow there and we're going to wrap it around that nail Okay, so the difference between this bow and other bows when you start to, to fluff them out is that you're gonna start from the bottom up. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna just kind of get that bow to kind of go up. So basically the first one that we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to make it like a cross. So we've got our, um, our tails and we're gonna make a cross. Okay, go to the next one. And that would be this green ribbon. So I'm going to just kind of move this one to the side and move the tail over here. And so basically when you're, when you're bringing these out, you're kind of making a cross with each, you're crossing each of the different um, bows, if that makes sense. Okay. So we've done that one. So let's take this one and we're going to go, this loop's going to come out to here. terry bow i think it's really really pretty and the and the options are endless because you can use as many of different kinds of contrasting ribbon and just make it beautiful but if you've made it till the end and you know what i know this is a long video but we had a lot to cover and i do this once a year i make you a bow video so i hope you enjoyed this if you're the first time you're watching and you want to subscribe hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and then let me know how much you love these bows. Whether you are at the very beginning and don't know how to make a bow, here's a super bow that anybody can make to making a bow on a bow maker like the Pro Bow The Hand, which is amazing. 
you can make Christmas wonderful. You can make all your holidays wonderful, your gift giving wonderful. You could wow everybody. So if you made it this far in the video, leave me a bow in the comments. So if you aren't following me on other social medias, all of my links are in the description box below. And until we see you again, we'll see you in Julie's Ruth Petite. Bye-bye.